I missed one thing. Coming soon. Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad. I'll let you look at the picture for a minute. Steelyard Commons supports plans to extend the 51-mile Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad, one of the longest and most scenic excursion railways in the country, to downtown Cleveland via the Otis Lead Rail Line. A planned railroad stop at Steelyard Commons will include a 400 to 500 foot rail platform. As part of a rail excursion to Cleveland, a special shopping center dining stop at Steelyard Commons and connection to the towpath trail and steel heritage center is proposed. Currently, more than 100,000 Clevelanders ride the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad annually, with that number expected to double when rail service is completed to downtown Cleveland. The clock building, where workers used to clock in and out, it's been relocated to the site. And I think they put some huge iron beams, maybe manufactured right here, through the building. They could have used a little bit better matching brick to repair it. Always the critic. Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad. We're in Cleveland, Ohio. Beautiful arch bridge, concrete arch bridge. We're in Cleveland, Ohio. We're in the Cuyahoga Valley. And we're observing the remaking and reshaping of what was once a proud American industry. Cleveland, Akron, Toledo. Steel used to manufacture cars that we saw at the Auburn Cord Duesenberg Museum in Auburn, Indiana. A bottle car. Molten steel loaded at the top. They flip it. 180 degrees. Matching the arrows. And dump it at the bottom when it reaches its destination. There are the arrows. I bet you there were many of these bottle cars in the day. They all got scrapped and sent off to somebody else. Somebody else's steel mill. Big industry. We're in Cleveland. Checking out the steel yard. Thanks for looking.